what are you expecting now? Look, I mean, the, the biggest thing here is, I mean, we, we obviously we obviously know that it's it's got a fractured leg. Yeah. So Klein sent us some photos, and he sent me a video as well. So we, we know the leg's fractured. Mm -hmm. Just where and how bad the break is is, is something we gotta we gotta look at. So the first thing we'll have to do is is to to dart it, so we can assess how bad the break is. Yeah. Because we know it's the front right leg. So yeah. is it above the elbow? Is it in the joint? Is there more than one fractured spot? Um, are we gonna be able to more or less align it again, and then we can sort of assess it from this. It's it's a bit of a you gotta you're in the deep end before you even <laughs> even know. Yeah, <laughs> it never gets easier. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're gonna do an anesthetic and, and then just just have to see from there. circular x fix to, to work from there. What would you see if it was, if it was lung? Let's see the... So in terms of, of if it was if it was lung, I mean obviously the blood from the lung is different. You got a like, super pink foamy kind of thing versus normal blood. But I mean this could just be, you can see there's a couple of holes here. And it's obviously just from the fence. So there's a hole there, there's a hole here, there's a hole there. So you just got a bit of air that's underneath there and that's why you got that sort of spongy, spongy. feel underneath there. He has a nice and up like that then he's normally fine. The minute they start to, to drop like that then you know that he's as you can see they're standing up nicely on there. This is the pulse of time, so it just does like a heart rate and you just see if that stays on. Reading. So that's your SPO2. Sort of want it to be in the 90s, it will start to pick up now. Do you see the bone there? Left bones. So what are you trying to do is like just yeah, just put it back and then just try and see where the alignment is. The problem that we got is <coughs> there's a joint, so that's the joint. So you you've only got that much there, and then you've got this piece up here. Mm. So you you can't really work in a joint. The minute yeah. you start putting stuff in the joint, you have a hassle. So we. And see how much distal bone we have that we can work with. Are you going to fix this whole leg straight? Well, yeah, I mean, like you, it'll be straight from now on when you take it off. You can. Because how are you going to get into this little piece here? Yeah, well, that's the thing, you just got to draw one there. You got to find bone here and the line from the bone. You're a young animal, so it'll, it'll, it'll form. You just got to get some kind of alignment. So what you want to do is you want to have one one pin on the top plane and you do one on the other plane so when you draw them they don't, go, they don't touch each other. One pin this side, one pin that side and the same on the top. The problem that we got here is that we've, we're only going to be able to do two pins and you want to do them 90 degrees to each other so we've done one this way and we'll do one that way and then we've got two pins at the bottom and then we'll do two and two to the top. Yeah. All it does is it tensions the wire from that side to this side. You have to really get that like righty tighty lefty loosey thing going. Yeah. <laughs> which one will you make that and which one will you make So, what I'm doing here is I'm tightening between so that the rim stays. Yeah. So that's what the function of that is. So these two, yeah, that will basically keep the, that in position because that's the plane. So you, you're locking the ring in place. Otherwise if one was loose, the, this would move. Yes. So I'm going to give him an intravenous antibiotic. So just IV straight yeah. into the vein. So you can see the, the vein there. The shaft's 
where all the sharp needles and things are going like lying all over the back here. Just the silver core flamazine, it's like really good for burn wounds and bite wounds. And So, so basically this is just a spray that keeps the flies and stuff away. So this is just where the, you hit the fence and just the barbs and the fence have obviously hurt him whether it's been connected or one of the droppers. Yeah. <laughs> we release some tortoises and it'll be better. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, I feel like it's time we should end it. Every video just release the tortoises into the sunset. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get so many tortoises from, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll just keep releasing the same ones. Yeah. Let's go that way. Okay, well, we can always get <laughs> It's all good.